Hey guys, Bob Brenneman here. I'm a realtor in Charleston, South Carolina. Today I'm standing in Mount Pleasant on the banks of Horlbeck Creek and out behind me is Rivertown Country Club to kind of give you some perspective on where we are. Today we're continuing with our series called Ask Bob. It's a uh, series we started some years ago covering questions I get asked a lot and today we're going to cover, in my opinion anyway, the three best boat landings in Mount Pleasant and I hope you enjoy the tour. Hey guys, uh, so we have repositioned uh, off the dock. The wind was kind of bad out there today, so we decided to uh, come and shoot this on my back porch and I'm sitting in Brickyard. So we're starting here uh, with the three neighborhoods I'm gonna talk about. And you know, before we talk about you know, the boat, boat amenities here, uh, beyond what you've kind of seen on the uh, beginning of the video, we're gonna talk about Brickyard's neighborhood as a whole. So this neighborhood is off of Highway 17. It kind of butts up against Boone Hall Plantation, which is a big plus because Boone Hall will never be developed and that gives you a buffer you know, at least to the south end of Brickyard. And then, you know, Brickyard again is a uh, neighborhood that was built in the 90s, mainly, um, maybe some into the early 2000s, in differing subsections from when you come into the neighborhood until all the way into the back, uh, it just, price points change as you get deeper in the, into the neighborhood. Um, there are about 828 houses back here, or at least that's what my research uh, unearthed. And I live back here, I think I'd mentioned that earlier, you know, I'm not a big fan of the neighborhood as far as the architecture. I'm a, a neoclassical kind of guy, but there's a lot of brick houses, as you might imagine, with a name like Brickyard. But what I have been able to enjoy over the years about this neighborhood is, you know, all the amenities that are here besides the boat landing, you know, again, a big plus. You've got walking trails, you've got basketball courts, you've got two swimming pools at the front, you've got soccer fields, you've got a lot of tennis uh, courts, and a really nice little amenity center set up at the front. Uh, and then as you go towards the back, you have, um, you know, you have the, the boat dock, which we'll talk about here in just a second. The other thing that I really like about Brickyard potentially is its proximity to the beach and to downtown Charleston. You are about 10 minutes from Isle of Palms from here and you're about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to downtown Charleston. Um, so to talk about the boat landing, um, and the, oh, I wanted, to, I wanted to, to go on with the schools too. So Jenny Moore is the elementary school, Lang is the middle school, and Wando is the high school if you live inside a Brickyard. The Homeowners Association fee is about $1,000 a year. Um, the boat ramp, again, uh, we mentioned when we were sh shooting the video, we were on Horbeck Creek. So it's, it's on to Horbeck Creek, and Horbeck Creek feeds in, out to the Wando River, and then it feeds on out to uh, Charleston Harbor and into uh, the ocean. So great location to get out there. Uh, plenty of parking for your boats. Uh, you know, you got a nice launch area with, you know, probably I'd say 20, 30 places to uh, leave your boat trailers. Uh, you can fish, you can uh, crab uh, off the dock. And you can swim too. I would recommend definitely, you know, wearing water shoes. You have oyster shells in the water uh, that you don't want to cut your foot on. Um, the boat launch is nine feet at low tide. So I've been told over the years by people that boat that six feet of water at low tide is true deep water. So we definitely were three feet above what most people consider true deep water. And that, you know, gives you the ability to get in and out of the creek and in and out of the boat dock, uh, no matter what uh, the tide is doing. And the other thing that's nice about this neighborhood, because a lot of neighborhoods don't have this, uh, is boat storage. So up at the front, behind the uh, soccer fields, you have a, a, a fenced off area that will hold about 186 boats or you know, boat trailers. From here, we are going to go down uh, south from where we are in Brickyard to a place called Hidden Cove. All right, so uh, Hidden Cove is a neighborhood, again, like I just said, south of where we're sitting today. It was built in probably the late 80s to early 90s is the main time that uh, Hidden Cove was built. Approximately 250 houses, so much smaller than Brickyard. But the thing I like about it, it has better HOA fees. Your HOA, HOA fees are $625 a year inside of uh, Hidden Cove. You've got a nice amenity center at the front of the neighborhood. You've got pools, you've got some tennis courts, you've got a, uh, a clubhouse that you can rent out for uh, social functions. And houses range anywhere from 5,000 to about 2,000 square feet, just depending on where they are. Um, and the elementary schools are, elementary school is Bell Hall, uh, the middle school is Moultrie, and the high school is Lucy Beckham. And again, Lucy Beckham, if, if you've watched any of my videos before, Lucy Beckham or you're researching about Mount Pleasant, much smaller than Wando, and a lot of people are preferring that as an option in this neighborhood, Hidden Cove, uh, which is off of Long Point Road, is uh, in the Lucy Beckham High School. So to talk about the boat ramp uh, information, so uh, Hidden Cove is known as a kind of a boating and golf cart community. So there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that live back there that it's, they bought inside of Hidden Cove because they want access to uh, historic Hobcaw Creek. So Hobcaw Creek, you know, all kinds of stories about Hobcaw Creek from pirates to, uh, you know, just interesting stories you can read about in our history. 
Uh, and you access the uh, Hobcaw Creek via about a 30 foot dock. So it's not a very long dock to get in and then you know, you've got a boat, boat launch to uh, you know, drive your trailer into. The uh, boat uh, landing is accessed from Boat uh, Landing Alley, which is a, I guess an appropriate name uh, for the street that you access the road from. And the dock goes straight into the Wando, goes, you go straight from Hobcaw Creek into the Wando River and then it went into Charleston Harbor. So a little bit quicker uh, time to get into the ocean from here than it was in uh, Brickyard. The final one we're gonna do today, y'all, is actually, I said I was gonna give you three neighborhoods. We're gonna give you a, a, one that is, is tied into several neighborhoods, and that is Remley's Point Boat Launch. And that is about, Remley's Point Boat Launch is about as far as you can go into uh, South Mount Pleasant without going into the Wando River. You know, back in, the, back in the day when I was in college, Remley's Point was the, the area that you're looking at right now was soccer fields and none of the houses and none of these neighborhoods were built. There was a boat launch back here, but it's, it's been here for a long time. Thing I like about it, it's, um, it's on the Wando River. You got beautiful vistas of downtown Charleston and the Ravenel Bridge. And this is a public boat launch, but it serves, um, you know, it's open 24 hours a day. There's three launching lanes. There are about 45 boat trailers is what I have, had written down here. And they have courtesy docks for fishing. Uh, and a fishing pier also on site that you're able to use uh, if you're using this public uh, boat launch. It sets up next to several, Remley's Point boat launch sets up next to several neighborhoods that are back there, which is Rivers Reach at Remley's Point, which is where those soccer fields were when I was in college, uh, but were sold for high-end houses and, and lots. Uh, on the harbor is adjacent to it, and then you also have River Watch. So there's three neighborhoods right around Remley's Point that will give you access to this Remley's Point uh, boat launch, which again is a public one. Your schools are James B. Edwards for elementary. Uh, your middle school is going to be Moultrie and your high school, Lucy Beckham, like we mentioned earlier, much smaller and a, uh, probably a better setup for most people. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Again, my name is Bob Brenneman with the Brenneman Group. If you like our videos, be sure to click in the right-hand corner of the screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to talk to me about anything related to Charleston, Mount Pleasant, things to do when you come on vacation, schools, restaurants, and especially real estate, I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 843-345-6074. You can check out our website for all of Charleston, which is brennemangroup.com, and our website specifically for Mount Pleasant is mountpleasantproperty.net. Until next time, y'all.